Hey guys, this is a video demonstration of a simple project that you can build with the Nexian display. The Nexian is a resistive touchscreen display that makes it really easy to add a graphical user interface to your electronics projects. The Nexian has a built-in ARM microcontroller that controls the display. For example, it takes care of generating the buttons, creating text, store images or change the background. The Nexian communicates with any microcontroller using a serial communication at a 9600 baud rate. In this case we're using the Arduino board, but it also works with any other board that has serial capabilities, like the Raspberry Pi, ESP266, ESP32 and so on. There are Nexian displays with several sizes ranging from 2.4 inches to 7. This is the 2.8 inches display, but the most popular size is the 3.2. You can find a blog post below this video where we compare different Nexian displays. The Nexian is programmed with a free software called Nexian Editor that runs on a Windows PC. If you are just starting out, the Nexian Editor is a bit hard to use so I recommend experimenting with the examples provided with the Nexian library. You can find more information on how to use the Nexian editor in the project page at randomnerdtutorials.com. For this particular project, a 2.8 inches Nexian display is connected to an Arduino board to control two outputs and display sensor readings. There are three steps that you need to follow. First, Flash the Nexian display with a .tft file provided in the project page. Then, upload the Arduino code. Finally, follow the on-screen schematics. After everything is ready, power your circuit and this is what you should see. You can use a slider to control the LED brightness. It goes from 0 to 255. As you can see, it works as expected or you can use the buttons to toggle the other LED on and off. If you go to the second page and tap the update button, you can see the latest DHT11 readings. The temperature is displayed in a text widget both in Celsius and Fahrenheit degrees. The humidity is shown with a progress bar. To update the readings, just press the update button. If you click the back button, you can see the LED control page again. You can find the schematics and the source code for this project in the link below. The software required to create the user interface, the Nexian Editor, is a bit hard to configure until you get used to it. Additionally, you'll also find that it has some limitations. But if you encounter any problems, you can usually find the answer online. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Nexian display, and being controlled with serial communication makes it very handy to add to any project, as it only uses two pins. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.